Oh hi YouTube students! Are you ready for... Listening! I know I am. Today's video is all about reduced speech or connected speech. So hold on to your butts and let's begin. Okay, so just a reminder, what is reduced speech or connected speech? If you don't know, then go check out my first video on it. The link to that video is in the description. In our other videos, we focused on specific types of words, like prepositions or modal verbs. Today's words are some of the most common words native speakers connect or reduce. So a little bit of everything. So let's start with number one. Oh, and after I explain these words, we'll do a short little activity. Number one, me. Yes, all about me. This little word is one that we reduce all the time after verbs. For example, give plus me makes gimme. Or give me a second, meaning wait. Give me a sec. Get plus me, get me. Get me a cup, please. Let plus me, let me. Let me know, let me know. Hey, let me know if you can come to the dance. So we use me after verbs when we're giving types of commands or requests. Number two, did a question word. Many times we combine or connect did to the word that comes after it. A lot of times it's you or another pronoun. Here's some examples. Did you see the movie yet? Did you see the movie yet? Or did she cut her hair? Did she cut her hair? You can see how it's a lot easier to just connect everything. Number three. I love this one. It's kind of funny. I was like. This is reduced speech, but also kind of an expression. Americans use I was like when we talk about past things that happened, past experiences, we use it when we tell stories, and we use it to talk about how we were feeling in situations. Like this. My mom said I can't go to the party unless I finish my paper. And I was like, girl please. Now, you do sound a little dumb if you use this too much. But, I mean, I use it and I'm super smart, so. And number four, a uh, little or lil. The word little becomes lil a lot of times when we speak more quickly. Like Lil Wayne, Lil Kim, Lil John. Now I promise you don't have to be a rapper to use this. Here is an example of how I might use lil. Oh, uh, excuse me, I have a little problem with my car. Could you help me? That was serious. But you can hear the sound of the T's disappears in the middle. Also, it's very common for us to change the T to a D sound. I have a little problem. I have a little problem. You might hear both. Okay, children, time for a little practice. I'm going to say four example sentences like a native speaker. Oh wait, because I am a native speaker. You need a pencil and some paper. When I read my sentence, write down the formal English of what you hear. If you hear, could you help me? Write down, could you help me? And then we'll check. And I will repeat every sentence two times. Here we go! Number one. 
Mary. How many chickens did you put in the oven? Mary. How many chickens did you put in the oven? Number two. Can you help me? I'm having a little trouble with this math problem. Can you help me? I'm having a little trouble with this math problem. Number three. Hey, if you're going to the mall tonight, let me know. Hey, if you're going to the mall tonight, let me know. And number four. Ugh, my dog jumped on my car this morning and now it's all dirty. And I was like, really? I just washed it. Ugh, my dog jumped on my car this morning and now it's all dirty. And I was like, I just washed it. All right, let's check. Number one, Mary, how many chickens did you put in the oven? Did you put becomes, did you put? Or the pronoun after did connects to it. Number two, can you help me? I'm having a little trouble with this math problem. I'm having a little trouble. So you might hear, I'm having a little trouble or I'm having a little trouble. Number three, hey, if you are going to the mall tonight, let me know. One of our most common expressions in English in speaking or texting, let me know, let me know. Let me know, bro, let me know. And number four, my dog jumped on my car this morning and now it's all dirty. And I was like, really? I just washed it. I was like, I was like, what? Okay, I hope that helped those of you who want to understand us crazy Americans. And thank you for watching. Again, I am moving to Hawaii, back to Hawaii in two weeks. So, my next video will be next Tuesday. So, keep studying those words, see you later, and goodbye!